What's up guys, it's Matt and I've actually been up to revisiting my Go Anime movies. Even though I know I am unable to use Rapper Offline, which is something you have to download because Beyond is outdated, but I just don't like the Punishment Day videos and the grinding for multiple numbers of years. The series that is based on Bubby the Whale is the Misbehaving Quadrilogy. You might have all known that. I've actually been making pictures of characters and their part in the four movies. I even made some sayings for the characters. I even created a CD disc and cover featuring all the songs that I included in my four Bubby movies. Something I thought that intrigued me was Yo Gabba Gabba Fan 49 UTTP Misbehaves at SeaWorld, which I thought was really interesting. As you can see, Agent Brozone used two of my outfits, the blue ninja suit being me, and my Guanamate trip shirt as the main character, Yo Gabba Gabba himself. What I thought was funny was that Yo Gabba Gabba Fan 49 UTTP tried to hide in the bushes, but he regretted his decision. I also like that he incorporated Kermit the Frog and Shamu the Big Black Whale. Making these four movies made me think that I organized a class trip to each of those theme parks where everyone can do whatever they want at the park and have fun on the rides. What I think I could have done better is have characters perform at every theme park. For example, the Wiggles would have gone in an Epcot World Tour and sing in different languages and even include the three new Wiggles as well as Sam. I should have also made Captain Firesword be in charge of the Epcot boat. And for Sega Land, I should have made more Sega themed rides such as the Fantasy Zone, which is based off of the character Opa Opa. I think I remember making a Choo Choo Rocket ride in the arcade, there would have been all the Sega games that are included, especially Team Sonic Racing. I should have made a ride that was based on House of the Dead, an arcade game similar to Guitar Hero, but it would be called Space Channel 5. There should have been another ride called Super Monkey Ball, in which you ride in similar to Fortnite Ballers, in which you ride inside a ball roller coaster. I would have also made a ride called Skies of Arcadia, Pirate Ride that incorporate the character Vice. These characters appeared either in Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing or Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transformed. If you've played any of those games, write them in the comments below. For Universal, I only needed minor adjustments. I should have made the inside of the bus look like it was a Universal bus and not a Disney bus was because I made the film before I went on my trip to Universal back in 2019. And I didn't want to take the risk because the Legacy Video Maker expired on my 15th birthday. I assumed that it was going to expire on December 1st and not the 31st. Because I didn't want to take that risk during Christmas break when I had off from school. I should have made Shrek and Donkey ride their own ride. But as far as performing at the City Rock stage, I did really good there with the characters performing their songs. I'm actually going to show you some of the pictures that I've made and you might want to go look at them later. This is the final picture. I know I didn't include Thomas or Percy or Lightning McQueen because they're vehicles and they only go on train tracks, but here's the rest of the characters as you can see here. Some of them might even have small detail, but I'm sure you can see them. You can obviously see me in the middle and Bubby on the right. Go click on the Dubai art link in the description to see more non go animate scenes and be sure to watch me. So if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave it a like, comment, and subscribe. This is Matt, signing off.